Hello, 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 Capricorn. How are you? So Capricorn is my rising sign. If you don't know what your rising sign is, I would highly recommend you go find out. Um, just um, a natal birth chart. And if you go to, you know, if you kind of Google it, you can find people who have websites that'll give you your natal birth chart for free. But I was really excited um, to find out that your rising sign is can be just as um, powerful or more powerful than... Um, your sun sign. So I found so many benefits to finding my rising sign and then all the, the attributes that went along with that. So, okay, enough of that. Hi, Capricorn. All right, let's see what we have for you in the month of April. Oh, here we go. Page of Raphael, the lovers, two of Raphael, eight of Ariel, six of Gabriel. So, so we have a lot of um, Raphael showing the very first three uh, cards are all Archangel Raphael. Now I'm using um, Bradley Valentine's uh, Archangel Power Tarot cards. So the first one is the Page of Raphael. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted, a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, great intuitive insights. So this is a general reading. So for some of you, there may be a new emotional situation or messages regarding relationships or social invitations, like someone new may be coming in, or there might be a resurgence of a relationship you've been in, or even a resurgence of a relationship that you're in now. Sometimes they need that too. Um, but great intuitive insights, I feel like is the, the most beneficial part of the message of this card. Because the lover's card, Archangel Raphael again, healer, make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So <clears throat> right away, and then we have two of Raphael, which is two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. So right away, Capricorn, we have three cards and they came out like this. So we had the, the page of Raphael the lovers, and then the two of Raphael. So what I'm seeing here for you is that we definitely have an emotional situation that is going to progress. It is going to be resurged. It is going to be so. This could be a partnership in a romantic setting. It could be a marriage, or it could be a business partnership where you're coming together and really creating um, that that relationship that is going to propel the organization or the company or whatever it is you're trying to create really it's going to just like propel it forward so eight of ariel is take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect consider getting additional education or training so i do feel like and then six of gabriel comes in and says congratulations you've done a wonderful job time to move on to the next project awards scholarships or promotions so I really do feel like overall for the whole reading, for a general reading, like this really is about your business. This is about um, <clears throat> putting together the work and finding the right people to be doing the work with. So if you're trying to build your own um, company or if you're trying to do something on your own, I do feel like April will be a nice um, time to really start pulling the people together um, because you're going to find very like-minded people around you who have the time and energy to really kind of start maybe brainstorming is what it feels like, like really putting the ideas together and maybe looking at, you know, do we need to read more up on it? Do we need to get in touch with people who have expertise or do I need to get a certification to be, to be able to do that? Because it does feel like by the end of April, you're going to be able to say, I did it. I accomplished it. I, um, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. So either <clears throat> I've taken the time to really get like the, the steps I need to take for the next venture, or I was able to complete it in the month of April and now I'm ready to move on to the next phase. So maybe you did some training in April and now you're ready to start the job at the end. But it does feel like April is going to be, Capricorn, a really big month for you to really kind of pull some things together. Um, 
So as the month goes on and, and it feels a little overwhelming or a little daunting because this feels like a big task, um, what I'm hearing is take it in chunks, like step by step by step. Don't try to look at the, all of it and do it all at once, but really, you know, bring the people in, then decide how it's going to be done and then implement it. So it feels like very intentional um, ways in which you're going to go about um, in April, whatever it is that... Um, is the work or the training, okay? So it feels very exciting. But you know, those three cards at the beginning talking about people coming in, it does feel like, you know, you might have to network. You might have to, um, again, get that expertise or, or talk to people who've already done it and what can you learn from them so you don't have to kind of um, take the bumps. So, all right, sounds good. Accept struggles as lessons. Yeah, so, and I do feel like there may be some bumps in the roads, like I was just talking about. Um, yeah, so it feels like there may be, a, you know, a few obstacles or challenges. Nothing we do is easy speezy. It's just the way it is. Like, we're human. We always kind of get in our own way or something pops up because there's a lesson to learn. So just know that just accept the struggles as lessons. Don't let them stop you or hinder you in any way. Um, it's just a tool to kind of, and, and it almost feels like it might be a tool to, to help you recognize just how committed and passionate you are about this. Maybe it's something that's always been kind of on the back burner and you weren't really sure. And now that you're in it, you're like, I'm really in it. So Aphrodite, inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Yes. So definitely standing in your power as you accept the struggles as lessons and as you kind of move into this um, practice makes perfect idea, okay? So I love it. Love it. All right. Let's see, Sagittarius. Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Capricorn. <gasps> Life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. And I really feel like, let me get rid of, well, not get rid of, but put down those, because I really want to hold up these together. So accept struggles as lessons and life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So yes, I think we've got just a real confirmation here that you know sometimes things don't go exactly how we think they're going to but there's a lesson in there and if we can take that lesson and move it forward it's just going to help everything fall into place and us really reach what is for our highest and greatest good i love it well capricorn i'm going to listen to this later for myself because as my rising sign this is definitely going to also um probably be a message in here for me all right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Happy April. I'm sending you so many blessings and so much love. We'll see you next month.